What's up, everybody? So, even before the announcement of these two codices coming out, basically once 8th edition came out, I was giving thoughts to codices and how GW could release them quick enough so we're not waiting over two years to get what will essentially amount to around 30 codices out or anything like that. And also, you know, thinking about, you know, what could they do for certain factions to kind of breathe life into them? I think every codex that comes out needs to have a bit of a pizzazz wow factor going for it, whether it's how they do army uh, capabilities or any whole new units or whatever the case may be. And in doing that, I gave thought to the Grey Knights a lot because the Grey Knights have always been a really specialized Astartes faction. And, you know, they are the Chamber Mills of the Ordo Malleus, so they're part of the Inquisition, basically. And they're really dedicated to anti-warp, anti-demon capabilities. They're strong in general, but that's their specialty. And they're really good at it. As a result, they're really kind of limited in their structure. They didn't have much pre-5th edition. 5th edition added stuff along the lines of the Dread Knight and the Paladins and Purifiers and all that. Cool things. But even still, it, they were added and that was it. In terms of, okay, we have now the army list capability of the Grey Knights expanded upon, but it wasn't expanded upon with uh, an open door. It was just made bigger and not a bad thing but fast forward to 8th edition now and what can they do to kind of get the Grey Knights being uh, a bit more uh, bedazzled for people to look at outside of being cool already you know I, I, that's how I look at it but before rambling about that I wanted to quickly address the concept of two codices at once because ultimately I'm not against the idea gotta be honest i like whatever will get codices out faster rather than slower and i'm not worried about them being in reduced quant uh, quality because i don't think gw will do that personally i think they understand the stakes if you will and i'm not worried about a lack of quality in these codices i'm just worried about time because it's like i already mentioned a lot of codices to come now while I'm a fan of that and that's my ultimate hope for codices, I still can't help but get the feeling that they're a little less special feeling when you re release more than one at the same time. Especially when you have unrelated models being released alongside them. Not the fault of the Primera stuff, but uh, really a fault of GW for stringing that along a bit too long with model releases. But anyway, we have KK Chaos Space Spring Codex and we got the Great Nice Codex coming out at the same time and as we see in the warhammer community articles if you follow that it was basically nothing but chaos up until well friday uh the 4th of august when the gray knights got their first little glimpse into their codex does that mean now it's gonna be nothing but gray knights have they done everything they wanted to talk about for the chaos already i don't know we'll have to see there might be some jumping back and forth and thus further showing different ways in which you can split your attention and therefore have the limelight and the hype feel a bit diminished between the two, but still there. So really, I get it. I'm okay with it. I kind of like the end result of more codices quicker, but I still feel like a codex is a, should be uh, a bit more special or be treated a bit more specially than just thrown out like that for us. And I'm not just being thrown out to us, but uh, two at once, I don't know. It's just, like I said, I'm, I'm pro the idea of multiple codices uh, or more codices coming out on a quicker pace. But it still just feels kind of odd. So anyway, with that little blurb, brand and tangent out of the way, I want to talk Grey Knights a little bit. Because I was thinking what they could do for the codex to kind of put something new and or or something new to a codex entry into the book to kind of give us something outside of just having updated rules for 8th edition and different uh, stratagems and the like. So firstly, we know that the Grandmaster Voldus' model from the uh, Triumvirate of the Primarchs is being sold by itself, which is cool. And we know that Grandmasters can be given Nemesis Dreadnights now, allowing you to feel the full 
Now it's this Draenite Army, which I think is really cool and really has my kit bash conversion count as brained in, in full force of what you could do with that very concept. But I'm not going to go off on a tangent here on that. Traditionally, if I was going to play Grey Knights, I wouldn't do that with my playstyle. But my whole counts as really thinking outside the box, imaginative thoughts are running wild with, with possibility on that. But outside of that, we don't know too much of what could be done unit-wise new for Grey Knights. And that got me thinking to that command structure. Because they almost have everything a traditional chapter would have represented in the Codex. Even Apothecaries are in there, as I believe part of the Paladin squad. So, what can you do? Well, you can do something, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Chaplain fan, but you can give Grey Knights a Chaplain entry. A Battle Psycho Chaplain would instantly rival the Interrogator Chaplain as far as coolest and my favorite concept of a Chaplain entry. I'll tell you that straight up right now if, if it became a real thing. And they've had them in their lore for a while. We just never had them in the Codex. So, where was that lore? Well, it was in novels. And the reason I'm bringing this up, and I've been giving this thought even before they were announced, is because um, recently something's been making its way around the interwebs that's been causing some people, some players, to get in a bit of a hissy fit for no reason. And that was a statement that it was an article, basically, the gist of what I got from the article was there's going to be articles showcasing how you kind of conversionary kit bash and paintings to represent units that don't have their own models, such as Grey Knight Librarians, because they just used the Terminator Librarian model, and Grey Knight Chaplains. So people were highlighting the chaplain part and saying, great, Grey Knights are getting chaplains, real original, what, what's next, and so forth. And okay, I get it. But you're a little late to that party. <laughs> They've had chaplains for years from three different novelizations for the Grey Knights. And the one I read, I think it was just called Grey Knights. The chaplain in there was in Terminator armor. And it was still mostly silver with one arm painted black, I believe. And Terminator armor, like I mentioned, with highly ornate lightning claws. And this struck me as interesting from two levels. Not the traditional war gear of a chaplain, and not traditional war gear of a Grey Knight either. So that was really interesting. I'm not saying they're going to go that far with it, but it would round out the command structure of the Grey Knights. They got the apothecaries, like I mentioned. We have brother captains, grandmasters, and you know the chapter master, captain equivalent type of stuff going on. They got the supreme grandmaster, grandmaster, and brother captains. They have librarians, which are just super dedicated psychers of the Grey Knights. Remember, all Grey Knights were psychers. And they even have tech marines. And I'm assuming we're going to keep all that for this 8th edition codex coming. So really all that's lacking is chaplains. Now, what would kind of throw people off a little bit is the fact that this was never mentioned in the codex before. As a result, the command structure chart that we have in the codex, the latest Grant codex, does not show chaplains at all on it. It shows apothecary, it shows everything else, but none of the brotherhoods, none of the chapter command or anything makes reference to chaplains. However, fluff-wise, they've had chaplains and still have chaplains. Chaplains are rare. They're more of a rarity in this chapter than other chapters, but they still have them. So this would be a nice way to kind of round it out. You could easily just do an updated uh, headquarters and brotherhood, not flowchart, but just chart in general, where you could put in one of the brotherhoods a bunch of chaplains or something and just call it good. So an easy enough retcon slash fix, if you will, for something that's been a part of their fluff for a while. Uh, that's how I look at it. So outside of that, I really don't know what else they could do because I don't necessarily know the direction they might want to head for the Grey Knights chapter. You know, Nemesis Dread Knight was something kind of out of nowhere when that first came out for me. I did not know that thing really at all or would not even thought of something like that really at all for the Grey Knights. So as a result, we see that being not pushed, but added to with Grandmasters being able to take it now and um, being a full-on army. So I'm not entirely certain 
where they're going with the Grey Knights in terms of what direction they're trying to go for adding stuff. So I figured the chapel would make the most sense. It's part of the command structure. We don't have a entry for it yet. I got plenty of bits out there to turn something into a chaplain for Grey Knights, so it wouldn't be too hard. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts there on the Grey Knights and what I would add. And it's not just because I like chaplains a lot, but because legitimately they have chaplains. But you know, outside of that, really is kind of a a toss up of what they could do if anything uh, brand new for the Codex. I don't know. They could always add other Dreadnought options. Maybe they get Grey Knight Contemptors or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's really it for this kind of random ramble. So thanks for sticking through it. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, leave them in the comment section. I'm still around, still doing things. I've just been busy with work and stuff. Um, but I have gotten some stuff on the hobby side prepped to kind of start painting and I'm prepping. I got one thing fully prepped and I'm prepping a second thing to kind of do them simultaneously because why not? So yeah, that'll be fun. Maybe I'll do a, uh, an update video once both are prepped and ready. Anyways, that's it. So again, thanks for sticking through it. And until the next one, take it easy.